civil war in this country in order for us to have true justice. If that's what it takes, then we have to do it. Okay, so y'all are the ones who want a civil war. Y'all want to go up against actual, true, boot-wearing, beer-drinking, gun-owning Americans in a civil war? You said it. I did it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not checked out the first season of the American Pridecast podcast, the links are below. Whole first season is out. And it's good. People are loving it. Y'all can also watch the highlights of the videos on the American Pridecast YouTube channel. So as y'all know, there is an autonomous zone where cops aren't allowed. There's special instructions for white people. <laughs> Still funny to me. And a reporter actually went into this place. I don't know how he got in and he actually interviewed these protesters on what they actually want. So for those of you lefties who are like, oh, Dan just talks out of his ass. I'm not a guy who likes to say I told you so, but I fucking told you so. So this guy goes through George Floyd Square and he interviews people. Let's start with the first little question that this dude asks. Sleepy Joe, I hope you're paying attention because if any of this stuff is considered peaceful, then you can just write me down as an idiot because I apparently don't understand English. Some of the people who are looting, they're just, they're just destroying stuff. They're not really taking anything. They're just, they're just angry because they don't what know. What you think is fair? Yeah. Okay. They're not really stealing stuff. They're just destroying stuff because they're really angry. Hey son, I don't know your name. But can I, can I give you a little hint? If you walk up to my truck and you take a sledgehammer to the entire thing and destroy it to the point where I can't drive it anymore. I can't go pull 30 cows to the auction with it anymore. That is the same exact thing as if you were to steal it and I were to never see it again. Both are worthless to me. And you also think that you doing that to my truck is fair. Fuck yeah. Totally. Let me know when I can take you out for a beer, bud. You can burn the whole city down. What does it matter? So I say burn the city down, you know, so they can see that we're here. Continue the movement. Do you think the city's going to burn down? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so that is three people who say, let's burn the city down. And by the way, this is after Derek Chauvin was convicted of all three charges. This is sounding so peaceful right now. You know, I could take a nap in the middle of that square and just grab a margarita. Should we eliminate the judicial system completely? Should we eliminate it completely? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a flat rate answer of yes. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a flat rate answer of you're a dumbass. All of you people out there who don't want the judicial system, you're breaking the law. No shit you don't want a judicial system. Y'all want to do whatever the fuck you want to do. When got off, would you support street justice on him? Yes. Are the feds looking into this? This guy just said, if this guy got off, would you support street justice against him? Yes. For those of you who don't know what domestic terrorism is, this is it. All right, now this is one of my favorite parts. How many unarmed black people were killed by cops last year? Any oh, idea? 100 plus? In just Minnesota? No, around the country. Oh, thousands. Un unarmed black people. Thousands. Thousands, thousands. No, you're wrong, okay? Let me give you some actual stats here. 18 unarmed black people were killed by police in 2020. 18. No, no, keep it up. Y'all are doing so good right now. You know what? I bet y'all run one of those fact-checking websites. Would you consider this a genocide? It's the eradication of an entire people. That's a good question, and now that I've been confronted with it, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. That's a terrible answer, but now that I've been confronted with it, once again, you're a dumbass. What percent of this country are white supremacists? I say most of the country. I can't give you a number, but like... You say majority of the country. Yeah. Should we just gather up the white supremacists? and do street justice? That would be ideal. <laughs> and then y'all openly say that y'all wanna take street justice against pretty much all white people. You can't call this peaceful protesting anymore. When there's a group of people holding a block down, not letting cops in there, not letting civilians open their stores, and then saying all this stuff on camera. Y'all are the reason why America is declining. Y'all are the reason why this whole thing has been blown open. 
in terms of worrying about race in America instead of, I don't know, the border? Sex trafficking and human trafficking? The fact that Sleepy Joe has already planned to spend $10 trillion this year? Where are we gonna get that money? And you damn sure aren't gonna see this stuff on CNN.